These days, being a celebrity doesn't necessarily mean to have talent. Big Brother's Frankenstein, or Jade Goody, talk about Desperate. She shot to fame by being ditzy. At one point she was public enemy number one. Then when she thought Sherlock Holmes invented toilets, the public soon warmed to her. Outside of Big Brother, she went on to run her own salon, sell a fitness video, present her own TV show and release her own brand of perfume. Everything was going well. But then... She got a bit too big for her boots by going back into the Big Brother house. And now she's one of the most hated people in the country. Kerry Katona. Okay, what has she done that has made her worthy of being in the public eye for so long? She was once in a girl band, which, by the way, she did admit to not singing in, and married to a member of Westlife, but this was years ago. So why is she still lurking around? Magazines do a six-page spread on her shopping to Tesco's. What will Iceland think? Newspapers still print stories about her most terrible divorce to Brian McFadden, and more scarily, she's had the go-ahead to write not one, but two autobiographies. Why do her people think we care? We don't! <coughs> How much life has Jordan lived? Is it too much to cram into just one book? Jordan is on to her third autobiography. Yet again, I ask, why does she feel the need to let the whole world know? Does she think we care? Her boob jobs have clearly warped her mind. I've just got one word to say. Greedy. Surely she doesn't expect the public to like her. Yeah, okay, her marriage to Paul McCartney ended badly, but wanting all that money just because, well, why does she want all that money? What's she going to do with it? She doesn't deserve it. Let the talented keep it, Heather. From one gold digger to a collection of them, WAGs, or wives and girlfriends as they are more commonly known, they shop all day and party all night. The most popular ones are Posh, Cheryl and Colleen. Out of all them three, one was a singer, one is a singer, and if the pattern follows suit, one will become a singer in later years. Poor Rooney. Triple TS, or the Trouble Teen Star, is well and truly troublesome to us. She makes tackier films than Madonna, she's always been snapped falling arse over to out of clubs, and there's something about this feud with Paris Hilton that makes me wonder if it is one big publicity stunt. I'm sure this voice is the opinion of the nation. I don't want to waste my breath on him anymore, so I'll move on. This Scientology nutcase clearly has proven he is the king of lunacy with his mad antics on Oprah. He's topped the chart several times for being annoying. So much so he was sacked by Paramount. I wonder what Katie thinks. He just annoys me. Thinks he's extremely good looking and rich. It makes me sick. Now on to Britney Spears, who was once a princess, but now a toad. She's had three failed marriages, a mother of two, she's got one shaved head, 
Zero respect, minus one husband and minus two kids at the present. This pretty much sums up this Louisiana loon. Oh, and she did have a relatively good music career too. The pièce de résistance, Victoria Beckham, or posh. The queen of wags surely has talent for managing to repeatedly hit the headlines by walking down the street looking good. No one else apart from street walkers gets as much money for merely stepping out the house, walking down the street and stepping into a car. That is where her career lies. She's done everything she's ever wanted except having that number one single, hee <laughs> hee. She gets photographed, she goes shopping. She gets photographed, she attends football matches. She gets photographed. Yes, she has a good dress sense, but is it really worthy of front page news? The only good thing I respect for her is keeping her private life relatively private. It's just baffling why she's still hot gossip. It's just a complete mystery. What does the future have in store for Posh? Well, she's got a chat show on the way, so that'll keep her busy. Maybe a few more kids, a few more countries to dominate and annoy. But more realistically, I reckon a few thousand trees will be slaughtered, just so the tabloids get to print images of these events unfolding. Mind you, they all do it for publicity. Speaking of publicity, I shall end it here with publicity stunts. Every celebrity exploits the media to boost their career. Let's take a look at a few examples. Hello.